therapy is based on some principles called tinnitus retraining therapy or TRT. And tinnitus retraining therapy was developed by a neurophysiologist who really took an interest in tinnitus and said, if this is occurring in the brain, how can we get to that part of the brain and, and realign it, rewire it? So through the use of sound, we're able to stimulate the damaged part of the ear, the damaged part of the nerve, the damaged part of the brain, and replace the missing information with a soothing sound. And that's what's so key with sound therapy. We have to use a soothing signal that a patient enjoys listening to so that they're replacing this annoying sound of tinnitus with something much more soothing, calming, and really can help relax a person, allow them to maybe you know be able to meditate, go to sleep better, fall asleep faster, sleep more soundly, and enjoy those quiet activities again, like reading or a quiet hobby. So sound therapy is something that has to be tailored to each specific person, each individual ear. Um, it's, it's a complex algorithm, really, of figuring out where is the tinnitus pitch, where is the tinnitus loudness match, how can we kind of stimulate that damaged part of the ear or the nerve or just the auditory cor cortex of the brain. And so by using sound therapy every day, a patient's gonna be listening to something similar to music, uh, but it's a neutral, calming, soothing type of sound. Think of maybe the sound you would hear in a yoga studio or instrumental type um, music. And that's programmed to the specific pitch range of a person's tinnitus. So by listening to that a few hours every day, we're gonna have relief while listening to the sound therapy. And then long-term, we'll see less and less tinnitus over time when not using the sound therapy. And that's really the whole goal is to get someone to a point where they no longer have to rely on the sound that's replacing their tinnitus.